everybody Goldie here and we are back with episode four of the gold mine and you voted I put it out there which legends era powerhouse did you want to see and the viewers in the community have spoken we are going with the iron chic foreign legion um, I've actually never played him before I I know that some people really enjoy him. I never really took him up. Um, I had Big John Stud. So this will be fun for me. Um, legendary Twitter follow. If you are not following this man on Twitter, what are you doing with your life? He still cuts promos on Hulk Hogan on his Twitter account. It's great. Anyways, um, so we're going to take a look and see how he scales at 5-star gold. I'm going to do two 3-star movesets, a 4-star moveset, which I think is the consensus on how to run him. And then we're going to take a look at um, a 5-star moveset regarding Multiply Gem nerfing, uh, just to see what his countering ability is. So, the first moveset we're going to take a look at is Double Red with Green 2. So his finisher is the Camel Clutch. Break your back, make you humble. Um, it's 13 charge, which is fairly abrasive. <laughs> uh, place five submission gems and do 13,801 damage for six turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into column break gems. Red two is the backbreaker, 11 MP. Deal 76,090 damage and destroy five random column break gems. So he puts out five, you destroy five. So no need for a, um, a destroy trainer or coach. And green two is the gut buster, seven MP. Deal 41,882 damage and make seven random gems into red gems. So the entourage we're going to run, we're going to use steel for more starting green MP. We're going to use Big John Stud to make more red gems. We're going to use X-Pac to charge these red moves faster. And we're going to use the worst showboat in the game, Tucker, uh, to reduce our submission turns. Now again, a reminder that this is the point of coaches that reduce your submission turns. You want to leave as many column breaks on the board as possible because you want to destroy them and that's how you're going to recharge your moves. Hence the point of Tucker, MVP, uh, co-owner, Flair, etc. So, for the belts, we are going with Full Fury. For the most part, our substats are maxed out. We're going with a red percent, tier 4 at level 15 maxed out. So 133.3% more damage to red moves. Got the maxed out move um, gem damage metal. And we're gonna go with an aftershock plate. So whenever you break three or more green gems, get three red MP at the end of your turn. The hope here is that when you're placing the submission gems, you're looking for columns with reds and greens. And if you break at least three greens when you destroy your column breaks, uh, the aftershock plate should help us charge everything up again. So let's go, uh, let's go against the Macho Man. I couldn't find a Hogan match on the road. That would have been so perfect. Please know that I tried. Um, and let's see what Shiki can do. All right, so with my tour perks, I have um, all color moves starting with two more move points and matching all color gems charge moves of that color by one more move point. So with this being a seven MP charge and steel giving us four more move points, this is ready to go on turn one. So we're going to basically put out as many red gems as possible. That was nice. That was nice. Take that wild card. 
So this is ready to go, but we don't want to hit it because we need to use the submission first. So let's just uh, take a red swipe, get some damage out there. Now, if my Tucker was 5k, this would only be a four turn submission, but since he's awful and I'm never leveling him up ever, uh, we're doing five turns instead of six. So we're going to choose five gems to convert to submission gems. Remember that these are gonna turn into column breaks, so you wanna make sure you put one, you don't wanna put them like here because you wanna break as much as possible. So we're gonna look for, like this column looks great. That column looks great. He's going to target red and yellow and blue. I don't necessarily want to put them all on the bottom just in case he gets like a ridiculous cascade. Um, so go one, two, three, four, and uh, we'll go here. Put him in the camel clutch, break his back, make him humble. Break your back, make you humble. Oh, come on. Lame. That was lame. We had everything laid out so perfectly. Super lame. Oh well. Man, that really blew. Okay. Uh, but we left all of our column breaks on the board. Unfortunately, they put two in a column with just like one whatever, but hit the backbreaker, destroy five random column breaks. And that sound means we kept them down. All right, so borderline 500K with that move and we got enough uh, green gems to recycle. I think I'm gonna try to find um, I think I'm gonna try to find a match that isn't against a showboat because I feel like that shouldn't have happened. Um, but that moveset is fairly straightforward. Put out your red gems, use your submission, place the column break gems strategically, and in our case, hope that the board doesn't reshuffle. Um, and then break all your column breaks. The aftershock plate will help you recycle. Let's go ahead, find another opponent, and take a look at a second three-star moveset. The second three-star moveset we're going to take a look at is double green with purple one. So the green one is 11 MP, the side belly to belly suplex, deal 64,896 damage and make four random red gems into column break gems. Green two is the gut buster we've already seen. Purple one is the back rake, eight MP, Deal 54,922 damage and make eight random blue gems into green gems. So the thought process here is we're going to use the back rake to load up the other two moves. Use the gut buster to put reds on the board. Use the belly to belly suplex to turn those reds into column breaks and then probably swipe to see if we can get some board explosion. Entourage we're going to use is Woods for Purple MP, Farouk to make more column breaks. You could use um, Showboat King of Kings or Razor, but I know that they're not all that accessible. Plus, with needing blue gems on the board, I don't find it all that necessary. Um, we're going to use Powerhouse Drew to get an extra column break gem, and we're going to go with Rhea. Uh, to give us more blue gems on the board to turn them into greens. Now, the belt that I'm going to use is an absolute mess, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, I only have one set bonus of Fury because my green percent is padded, and I just don't want to bother with a padded set. So we're doing three Fury medals, but we only have the one Fury set and a padded uh, tier 5, 200%. And we're going to go with the glowing phantom plate whenever you break three or more purple gems get three green move points at the end of your turn so let's see how this one goes okay 
Okay, so we have our blue gems. But they're okay, let's see if we take this wild card and Yeah, of course we're gonna cascade. Of course we're gonna cascade. But the plate worked. Okay, so everything's ready to go. Two ways you could do this. You could put out the column breaks first and then put out the red gems to see if you can connect them. But since we only have two reds on the board, I'm gonna throw out the red gems first. Okay, so we have five columns, that's nice. We'll use the side belly to belly suplex. And then we'll use the back rake, make eight random blue into green. Now, ideally, these two would connect and then blow stuff up, but we'll see. Nice. 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 All right. Board went boom. Everything is refilled. We don't need to worry about the plate for the kick out because we're already charged up. So again, only two on the board. So we're going to throw them out. A little more variety there. Well, by that I mean we get six instead of, instead of five. Okay, and it's not looking like any green gems are going to connect with the blues. So we'll throw out some green gems. Let's see if we can sneak that. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. And we got all these column breaks that he's just going to um, he's just gonna destroy. Or not. Okay. Uh, so let's so now we can do this the reverse way because we have plenty of reds on the board and a lot of them are column breaks already. So now we're going to do the gut buster to see if we can get some random connections and blow up the board. Okay, so we got one. <laughs> it still kind of worked. So let's go ahead and make more column breaks. And then make some green gems. Nothing connected, which is fine, I guess. Um, wow, okay, this is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> just gonna have to so oh of course he's gonna take that. Boo this man! Boo! Oh we're doing decent damage. We're doing decent damage. I still think I like the first moveset better because you get some defensive help with the sub and then you can be a little more strategic in your placement. This is all random, but I mean, it's a powerhouse using Fury and a 200% metal, so 
the damage output will be fine. Let's get rid of that. And thankfully there are some greens on the board. So let's take those. I knew he was going to take that. Let's throw out some red gems. Some more column breaks. And we'll take the green match. Throw out some reds. We're just going to swipe our way to a pin. No cascades whatsoever because this needs to be a 15 minute match. And there go our column breaks. Wonderful. Wonderful, yeah. I'm definitely liking the first moves that we looked at better. Let's kick out. Now it would be nice if this gem here turned into a green one. <laughs> Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Let's throw out our red gems. So the move damage with a 200% metal is... It's okay. I'm alright with it. Definitely helps. Helps some scale. Don't make that one a column break. Oh, come on. The one time I want to get tricky with it. All right, let's do that. I think also with the first move set, um, having the red percent, and then you get the move damage on top of the gem damage when you pin. So that'll definitely come in handy. Let's turn the remaining reds into column breaks. See if we can get some connecting. And a reminder that our belt is not good. We're using a really crappy belt, so. The fact that we're still doing decent damage with a half fury and a padded metal, I'll take that. Full fury would obviously be ideal. When, you, when you're doing board destruction, you want full fury. Or armor, if the uh, move damage is high enough and then hopefully you can keep them down. Double armor and Honky Tonk Man is an undefeated combo. So... Excellent. This should hopefully end it. Yeah, there's the tail. There we go. Done. Roman is not the real. He is the Jeroni, Bubba. So that was a little tedious. I think that first move set is better. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a look at the five-star moveset because I think the four-star moveset is the one that everyone prefers and I want to end the video on a high note 
So let's go ahead and take a look at his countering moveset. And then after that, we'll take a look at the four star. So let's talk about the five star moveset for Iron Sheik. His five star move is the Iranian drop. It's six MP, deal 37,746 damage and decrease the strength of your opponent's multiply gems by four. Now we're going to try it. I don't see it working a whole lot for a few reasons. Reason number one, we have coaches in the game now that reduce multiply gems by 70%. Um, so I guess if you're missing one of those coaches, you could use a move that reduces the um, multiply gem strength. And um, reason number two, there's not a lot of acrobats in the game or strikers for that matter that put out multiply gems and leave them out for the next turn. Normally what happens is they'll generate multiply gems and then destroy them right away. So I'm not sure how this is going to work logistically, but we're going to try it just to say that we tried it. So the entourage I'm going to run is uh, double red MP trainers. So Butch and Sting. x pac to charge everything faster. And again, Tucker, the worst showboat in the game to make our camel clutch one last turn so we can leave the column breaks on the board and destroy them. For the belts, we are going back to full fury with our tier four level 15, 133.3% red metal and an aftershock plate. So because we're running triple red and there's no move that generates red gems, we're going to hope that with the column breaks, we can destroy some greens and reds and get everything loaded up, ready to go. We're gonna go against Jeff Hardy. So he makes random blue gems into multiply gems of strength three, reducing those by four. Like it's not gonna be minus one. It'll probably just lower it to, to times two. Um, again, just going to try this out to see how it works. So almost everything is ready to go. Take a red match. And, oh, he didn't even take a green match. I was going to try to goad him into taking a green match. Cause so let's see, he makes five multiply gems and then he chooses six blue gems to just, I don't see this working at all. Let's just use the submission. Okay, so we want we want reds and greens, reds and greens on stuff that he's not going to break. Uh, okay, let's do that. I mean, what we could do is just hit this for the move damage. Let's do that. I also want to see what it looks like. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just pick them up and throw them. I approve. And we'll destroy everything. We got our three uh, green gems, so that helped. Now, Mr. Hardy, I, I need you to charge this move. Oh, so the hope here is that that's a seven charge. That's an eight charge. The hope is that he hits this move and this isn't charged. So let's play to get him some green matches. there's like nothing I can do. We'll just keep matching red gems then for damage. Where's he at? Four, seven. Oh, so if he takes that green match, he'll have both of them ready to go. Welcome to my lesson in playing defensively, I guess. Oh, and if he hits the finisher, He'll charge up everything too. Uh, this is not working the way I wanted it to. 
Yeah. Crud. Now, unless he hits this and then the finisher? We'll see. I could submit him, but I don't want to. I want him to use this multiply gem move. Excellent. Excellent. All right, so we can see how this works now. Oh, he's going to destroy some of them, isn't he? No. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Let's kick out. So they're currently um, strength of times three. We're supposed to decrease them by four. I don't see that happening. I feel like it's just going to go down to times two. Oh, they went down to times one. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. I don't believe I've ever seen that before. So his blue gems are about 15k. So I'm not going to hit these moves because I want to see him destroy and see if they actually are going to be his base blue gem damage or if this is a visual error. Like, is he going to double charge his finisher or is it actually times one? Neat. Okay, so we can get them down to not being multiply gems at all, which is kind of cool. Um, the multi-reduce coaches don't do that. So it's nice to know that there is some value in this move. Now let's just destroy him. Put you in the camel clutch, make you humble. I said make you humble, not break my submission gems. <laughs> wow. Wow. Unacceptable conditions. As I suppress a massive yawn, my apologies. Okay. So now we get to play the game of how the F do we charge up our sub again? Thankfully, there are red gems into a green gem and the plate helps. Thank you, MP plates. You are wonderful. All right, let's get this match done. Sheik the real, Jeff the forever jabroni. Still Brooks. That's fine. So now we're just going to try to recycle. Excellent. Game over. Okay, so that's cool. I learned something with that moveset. It actually reduces it back to times one, which is just his base blue jam damage. So not entirely useless. Um, but again, for the most part, acrobats are going to make multiply gems and destroy them on the same turn. But I guess if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to take away a coach spot, and use one of the reduction coaches that moveset would work. Very interesting, regardless. Um, so let's take a look at the four star moveset. So the last moveset we're going to take a look at is his four star moveset, which I believe is the way that most people run him. It's double purple with green one. So we're going to bring back the eight MP back rake. Uh, we're going to bring back the 11 MP side belly to belly suplex. And we're going to bring in purple two, which is the Firebins Carry Slam, 8 MP. Deal 41,192 damage and choose 
four gems to make into Blast Gems. So the build I'm going to go with here is Blast Gem Focused. We're going to use Woods to start with more purple MP. We're going to use Rusev to generate three more Blast Gems. Um, I realize that newer players may not have Rusev. You can also use Showboat JBL. He generates Blast Gems. Or if you have Powerhouse Kane at 9k, he will give you an extra Blast Gem as well. So those are the alternatives. I'm going to use Acro Ray Mysterio for 25% more Blast Gem damage plus an extra Blast Gem at 9k. And I'm going to use Typhoon for another 25% more damage plus 15% uh, more damage to Red Gems. Now the belt, again, is a mess. Very messy. Um, I'm not going to bother with the plate. As you can see, I'm out of parts. Um, you could run a glowing phantom. And the metal that I'm using is a tier 3 50% purple percent. Because if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll know that I've been pleading with the RNG gods and goddesses to give me a purple percent medal. And that's the one they gave me. So we're doing purple percent for the moves, sticking with full fury. Aftershock plate is on there because I can't remove <laughs> any plates right now. But glowing phantom would be decent. Blue bomber would be decent. Two words for you would be decent. Anything that centers around board destruction would work. So let's, uh, let's blow stuff up. So with my tour perks... We're not quite charged yet. If you had max Tor Perks and Woods, this would be turn one, but it's not. So let's take a green match. We're going to make eight random blue gems into green gems. Sweet. Don't cascade. Excellent. So, the Fireman's Carry Slam is a choose. The Column Breaks are random. So let's do the random first. Get those out there. And then choose eight gems to make into Blast Gems. Now we need to do this with a swipe. We're going to start in the middle. I'm going to go up. Try to get all the corners. That will get that, so we can put a Blast Gem here, and we'll go there. And what we're going to do is destroy almost the entire board. We're going to take this swipe here. Bap! Bap! Copyright DJ in on DT. So 650,000 turn two on a gem swipe. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you in between, is why people like this moveset. Iron Sheik the real. Forever the real. Let's go ahead and conclude the video. So that concludes episode four of Goldmine, the Iron Sheik Foreign Legion. Um, I really liked the double purple green moveset, and I actually really liked the first moveset too. Um, I found them both to be just as effective, so it would really depend on the trainers and coaches you have available to you. Um, let me know what you think of Iron Sheik at five gold. How do you think he scaled? I think, you know, he's a powerhouse that is focused on board destruction, so with full Fury Belts, he will do a bunch of damage almost every single turn. So I think he's still fairly viable in this meta. Uh, the move damage can be helped with a move metal. Um, but yeah, I think it's fairly straightforward gameplay. I really like him. I mean, he's... He's Sheiky, baby. He's the real. Not the jabroni like that Hulk Hogan. Sheik sells out Madison Square Garden. The real. Anyways, um, I will have another poll up in the next couple of days asking about who you want to see for episode five. 
Let me know your thoughts, again, in the comments, suggestions as to who you'd like to see. I have them all written down. If I am able to use them in this, keep in mind, people that have left the company may not have the rights for them. Um, but I'll compile everybody into a list and then throw it out into the community as to who you want to see. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.